a mystifying contraption and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? I don't know, but let's mess with it. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the adventure classic known as The Longest Journey by Funcom, as you saw there. They are or were a Norwegian game developer. I don't know if they're still around. Maybe they are. Uh, the Longest Journey takes place in a pair of magical parallel universes known as Arcadia and Stark, and you play as a character named April Ryan who uh, has a, the ability to shift between these parallel worlds. Um, the book, the Thousand One book, says this is the last great adventure game uh, before the, the, the genre was revived years later by Telltale. So I've never heard of this. I am excited to see what we got going on here. I do know that this game features polygonal graphics. So uh, it was at the end of the sprite era, you know, 1999. People were moving on to the world of 3D. They wanted to see things in 3D. So this game uh, obliged. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin our journey. Now this game does feature a number of cutscenes with uh, voice acted dialogue, but I did watch this opening cutscene before starting to record here today. And the dialogue is fairly slow. So what I'm gonna do is give you guys the gist of it as we go through. So here is an old lady who uh, is telling stories to some kids, I guess. I mean, this is a kid with a full beard, but he's sitting on the floor. There, wait, there are pillows right here. Why are these people not sitting on pillows? Um, anyway, so she uh, is asking them what story they'd like to hear, and they say they want to hear a true story. She says, all of my stories are true, child. Again, this lady looks to have fully developed breasts. She's obviously gone through puberty. I don't think this is a kid, lady. This is a full-grown adult woman. This is like a 40-year-old guy, you know, with like a bad back and like multiple kids of his own. So kind of interesting there. Anyway, uh, she's going to tell us a story about the balance, uh, which is the balance of magic between worlds, I guess. Uh, that is the story they want to hear. And so that is the prologue that leads us into the game. So we are basically going to be her story. Now, this game obviously, you know, uh, sort of has a little bit of a cinematic feel to it. Uh, interestingly, the development team behind this game was given pretty much free reign to develop whatever kind of game they wanted. They were simply given a budget, which was I think about three or four million dollars, and a due date. It had to be released, uh, you know, in 1999, let's say September. I don't know if that was the right month, but let's just say, you know, they were given they were given a month and a year. Um, and beyond that, they were pretty much allowed to do what they wanted. And I have often said that, you know, sometimes the most creative games come from like a team of people, like a, like two or three people who have an idea for a game that they want to make. It's like their baby. Um, and they just go and they do it and they invent that, that game, that idea. Um, not to say that every game that's produced that way turns out to be gold and not to say that you can't uh, have more of a, you know, formal... A uh, thoughtful way of trying to develop a game using a committee or something like that. Um, but of course, you know, sometimes when it's a passion project of just a small people who have a vision, you can get something really unique. Um, and so this is a guy who seems to be trapped between worlds. Uh, and he just has magic being continually sucked out of his chest. And I don't know. This is sort of like their universe's Dr. Manhattan because he's just completely nude there. Um, so he's like a super being, uh, maybe at the atomic level like Dr. Manhattan, you know, from the Watchmen. Who knows? But he has woken up as he put on pants. Maybe. Maybe or maybe not. Dr. Manhattan was famously naked all the time because he had just evolved beyond... Uh, you know, the human sense of decency and he just didn't, what's the point of wearing pants? That, and you know what, that is, that is a feeling that I can completely sympathize with. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, what is the point of pants, you know? It's just nicer to hang around in your boxers all day sometimes. Uh, but of course, society dictates that we wear clothes if we leave the house, so. 
Um, anyway, I don't know what that intro was about. Use your imaginations, you know, interpret it any way you want. Here is one of the parallel worlds. I think this is Stark. So I think Stark is the industrial, technological, magical world. And Arcadia, as we will see, is the magical and mystical and medieval style world. And this is our main character here, April Ryan. She's busy sleeping away the day because it was broad daylight, actually, um, as we saw there in the cutscene. So she's having a little afternoon power nap. And uh, here she is in Arcadia, where you're finally in control. So she thinks that she's dreaming, but we, of course, know that this is no dream. She's actually shifted between realities. Uh, she would like a decent night's sleep, doesn't want any bad dreams. So we can look at the landscape and stuff. This actually looks pretty cool. Postcard pretty. Postcard pretty. Real life never looked this good. Real life never There's looked this good. There's a way. storm over there. Even the weather sucks in my dreams. I feel so charmed. <laughs> She's got a bit of sass to her. All right. So notice that the, the screen sort of scrolls there. It's not a 3D environment per se. These are 2D environment scrolling, but there's sort of some parallax, effects, uh, parallax effects there. Make it look like there's depth. Oh, an egg rolled in front of us. Oh, my, the perils. The absolute perils. Oh, perfect. Ugh. Don't you just hate it when eggs get in your way? For seven years of bad... So she's thinking we need to save this egg, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, <laughs> what is she doing? She's just sort of, like, waving her hands in front of the egg. Yes, when I when I bend down to pick stuff up, I often just stand there waving my hands. Okay, so she can't can't get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery. All right, so let's see let's see what else we got in the cards here. Um, so I'm I'm here's my guess. This twig. We're gonna use the twig. Pick up the stick, or pick up the egg. So let's grab our twig. Yep. Uh. Oh, we seem to have woken up a tree. Oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? So I guess a tree thinks that we are torturing them, but obviously we're not. We're the voice of all trees, the spirit of the wooden leaf. You're talking tree? No, a tree does not. Oh, that's an interesting, that's, that's a small semantic distinction. I'm not technically a tree, I just speak for the trees. Uh, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, we must speak for the tree it's if the we are present. The breaking of branch is a great crime, apparently. Uh, I mean, to put it in humans' terms, imagine somebody walked up and ripped your arm out of your, uh, its socket. That'd be a pretty hardcore crime. I don't, what would that crime be? Assault? Seems like there should be a separate definition for ripping an arm off somebody, but I guess it's assault. Or dismemberment? But is that a crime or an action? I don't know. I'm no legal expert, guys. Thanks for clearing. Um, anyway, he's, I think, forgiven me. Oh, we get an opportunity. Let's ask him some questions. Yo, what's the deal with this egg, man? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. Well... Maybe you should stop harassing people about taking twigs and watch out for the egg with a little baby in it. What happened to the tree? Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Battle. Between the mother and black chaos, she was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. I'm getting like a never-ending story vibe from this, you know, like fighting the darkness. Okay, so the mother was killed by some kind of chaos. These are the wood spirits. Their time is running out. Passing to Earth is about to begin. Leave us now. Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. Oh, they're just straight up giving up on that egg. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. But one is literally here, offering you aid. Oh, I skipped that. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I'll find a way. Don't panic. <laughs> we do not <laughs> panic. 
<laughs> so their big catastrophic event is a brook changed direction, and now the tree can't get water, and it's like, uh, all hope is lost. There's no way to get water to a tree. It's it's impossible. Can't we just go get the water? Okay, first things first, let's try and save this egg here. So, how do we get the stick? Wait, do I do I have the stick? Oh, hold on. Wait, come back here. All right, activate the stick. In my undies. That's so not appropriate. Wait, what? I'm in my undies. <laughs> first of all, so I thought she was in some kind of uh, sports outfit, like an exercise stuff, but I guess she... So I guess, ooh la la, guys, she's walking around in her underwear. In undies. I, I guess this is like poking the orcs in Warcraft. If you, I wonder if you click her enough or she'll get extra sassy with you. You know, like in Warcraft and Starcraft, if you click the characters enough, they get like extra sassy. Anyway, this is getting a little creepy. How do I get the the stick here? Oh, a right click. Okay. I mean, that's obvious now. Uh, let's take the branch. And use it on the egg. I'll stop clicking on you if you save that egg. Doesn't want to do anything. Wants no part of that egg. Okay. Uh, let's check out the nest then, I guess. Go rifling through the nest. What do we got going on in here? Any more eggs? Maybe there's an egg this that we can do something for. I've never seen a scale this size before. Oh, these are like dragon eggs. Something. Oh wait, what's this? What was that up here? Oh, our inventory. Okay. Um, all right, well, <clears throat> who knows how to save that egg? Let's see what we got going on over here. A rock. According to the, According to the um, spirit, there was some kind of battle that split the rock and changed the course of the stream. According to fresh mountain water, back in the real world, they'd probably charge 15 bucks a bottle for this. Okay, let's try using this thing on the stream. Oh, that looks like it did something. I'll lose my balance and fall if I have to hold the scale like this. I need something to support it with. How about your underwear? I can't click on her. <laughs> All right, uh... I think I just made a fun oh, whoops. Cool. Wait. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, you can combine items. We learned something by accident. Does that work now? Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, look, we've we've used our human ingenuity to change the direction of a stream of water. Oh, it's like a weirwood tree from Game of Thrones. It has like a full-on face in it. I like how the tree was just like, ah, oh, there's no hope. That water changed direction. I'm done for. It, it was trivial, man. All I needed was like two twigs and I was able to change the water in your direction. There you That's go. What do you think of that, tree? Let's, uh, wait, what is that? Oh, it's a mouth. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at here? It looked like an alien eyeball, like a one-eyed alien. Hello. Leave us be. What, I just saved you. No, no gratefulness? Returned, and so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. Uh, dude. Aren't we forgetting something? Hush, listen. The song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? This tree is not grateful. Let's cut him down and turn him into a sweet looking Definitely. chair. Yeah, the baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. The baby. Oh, the egg. Thank the earth. We almost forgot. Yeah, you're so busy having your tree party, you forgot your sacred oath to protect the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! You just threw the egg off a cliff! Oh, no, wait, you picked it up. That... Jeez, I didn't know the trees could actually, like, move like that. All right. Well, good, I guess. Now we can check out the egg. What did she just do? Oh, there's a phoenix or something. Run! You're in your underwear. You're not prepared for this. Come back in full battle gear. Oh my god, it, it actually is a dragon. Or something. That is no dragon. 
You have come. You know me? April. Daughter. I have been waiting for you. Daughter? Waiting? Why? Because it begins here, with you, as it always has. What do you mean? The breach and the mending, the pain and the joy. Okay, I blah, 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 I'm the mother. Uh, how will I know? What do I do? I will guide you, I will protect you as much as I can, but in the end, you are on your own. I'm afraid you always were my child, my daughter. Okay. So, apparently... Our, our birth mother is some interdimensional being? And I guess we saved one of our siblings because we protected the egg? What the hell is this creature? It's like a dragon monster. What? She's... You going to sleep? What's happening? Oh, what is this? April, get out of there! You're not prepared! What am I looking at? It's like the smoke monster from Lost. Oh, no! <laughs> Tree didn't save me. Chapter 1. Penumbra. Alright, well that was our opening vignette or whatever. What a nightmare. She thinks it's just a nightmare, but of course it was a lot more than that. It's been tossing and turning all night. So hot in here. No wonder I keep having these weird dreams. I've basically been simmering in my own sweat every night. Doesn't look like it's gonna cool. Doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon. It's another sunny day. All right. Well, first things first. And how about we get you dressed? Well, it's a good thing the studio's got proper air conditioning. I promised myself I was gonna spend most of the day working, and I don't intend to break that promise. Not this time. All right, first things first, time to get dressed. Let's see what we got. Are these clothes? clothes? All right, so my wardrobe's sort of chic deficient, but I can't afford to be cutting edge. Useful, practical, and cheap is my shopping mantra. You don't want to get dressed? These are all just eye icons. Do I right click? Wait, what is this? A cash card. My cash look. card at the moment is really quite useless. There can't be more than a dollar or two left in it. Okay, so that's a problem. Really, you don't want to wear clothes. All right, well, I guess like me, she has no qualms about walking around her underwear all day. Toy monkey. What the heck is this? Oh God, that's horrifying. That's like the monkey, that's like some kind of monkey that would grant you three wishes that would all turn out evil and wrong. Like a evil monkey. I could only mom. carry one suitcase with me when I left home. There was so much I would have loved to bring, but Okay, she fled home. There's drawings. Okay, so absolutely nothing of value. <laughs> she doesn't want to get dressed. Hey, can I talk to my diary? I don't think that's how diaries work. Note to self. Dreams of talking trees and dragons aside, it's still no excuse for talking to inanimate matter. Okay. Let's take our diary here. Don't leave that lying around. Um, what do we got here? This. Look at the diary? There we go. I've been keeping a diary intermittently since I was five years old. Not the same one, of course. I started this one, I think, April of this year. Hey, it's my timesheet from the cafe. I completely forgot I put it in here. Good thing I found it, because I'm broke. Okay, so she doesn't make a lot of money. Let me tell you, if you work in a cafe and you show up for a shift in your underwear, you're going to get some tips. So we might we might be able to solve this money crisis of hers. It's my diary. It's my di uh, I guess let's take a look. Whoops. Take a look at the time. Sheet. It's a list of the hours I worked this past week at the cafe. OK. Is there anything that we can do with it? You know, what's funny when you click on the hand icon, it only has three fingers. So I wonder if she only has three fingers. Is she an alien? Who knows? All right. Anything that's else over desk, here? So. Theoretically, that's where I'm supposed to do my work. I think my muse has departed me for greener pastures, though, because lately, inspiration's been fleeting at best. How about those crazy dragon dreams? Right about that. Posters. Okay, what is this? A picture of... It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me in Florence Park. Marcus took it about a month ago before it got real hot. All right. I'm shocked there's not more to do here. Again, 
I just assumed you'd have to get dressed, but whatever. Do we sneak out the window now? Um. I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. Oh wait, am I in Earth right now? I thought I was in Stark. Maybe I'm in Earth. Chain. Grab the chain? Oh, interesting. Doesn't seem to do very much. <laughs> okay. Well, you can also let a uh, let a clothesline go. Um. All right. Well. I'd better head over to the studio to do some work. Only two weeks until the big show opens, and my contribution is in serious need of attention. Might be a good idea to get dressed first, though. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, fine. She wanted she she's the kind of adventure game heroine who doesn't want to be told what to do. Hey, babe. Who's this dork? Babe, you're looking real sexy today. Zach, listen, I I've got to run, and what's going on, April? How you been? Do I know this guy, or is he just being completely inappropriate with me? I gotta feel like this guy's being a little skeezy. I was doing just fine until you came along. Doing just fine until you came Snap, along. dog. What's that? Uh, hey, uh, listen. I was thinking maybe you and I could hook up tonight. Go to the pavilion or something. Oh God. We could pop a few raptures, do a little you close wish. dancing. How about it? Uh, that ain't gonna work, no, Zach. That's not gonna work, Zach. What? You got something against me, babe? Do I offend you in some way? Dude, you got to bring your A game if you want I just don't April. Think it's a good idea for us to be together like that. Hey, whatever. You come crawling back when you realize your mistake, babe. I'm out of here. Pro tip, if you have a dirty mustache and elvis sideburns, don't walk around calling girls babe. It will get you nowhere! She just called him an asshole. Damn, girl. Alright, let's go to work here. Um, where do we work at the cafe? I was gonna say, where do we work? It looks like we work in an artsy place. Oh my god, she walks so slow. Oh man. Oh, they they even animate her going all the way down the stairs. Alright, who is this? Is this a guy or a girl? The body, the hair looks like a girl, but it looks like he or she has stubble on their face, so it kind of looks like a dude, too. Fiona. Morning, Fiona. Good morning, darling. You're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. All right, let's tell her about our dragon I nightmare. Night Again? Well, you're not the only one, darling. Mickey woke me up screaming in the middle of nightmares. So people are having nightmares around here. Blah, 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 blah. I regret talking to this person. I'd better get uh, let's just get out of here. Screw them. I don't want to hear about your boring life, lady. Uh, we got we got stuff to do at the cafe, I think. Window, nothing to do. Man, she walks so slow. That's crazy. Um, all right. I still don't know where we are. I guess we're supposed to be in Venice, but this looks like a bizarro oh, yeah. Venice to me. Senorita. senorita, how are you this morning, Senorita Bonita? I am hot. I see. The summers in Newport are never pleasant, and it will get worse. Okay, so we're in a place called Somewhere Newport. Home. I thought Venice. So. Yes, yeah. Dios quiere. Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. Man, everyone's hitting on her. I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. Like an old movie. Like all good movies. But tell me, senorita Ryan, how would? Hmm. How about? Cold, cold? and rainy like yours. Está bien. We are like you and I. But this heat is not why you are unhappy, no? What? You are afraid of them. You even fear your dream. Okay, blah, 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 nightmares. I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. Yeah, you tell them. Destiny? I don't care what you think. Just, just leave me alone. Yeah, stay out of my dreams, son. They're my business. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. What? You need some serious help. You we all do, April. That's the reason we are here. You That's all right, so it's a I magical Spanish this. man is giving me advice on my so. dreams. Hinting that maybe they're more than just dreams. Actually, um, I'm going to head back in here. If you double click, you can run, by the way. 
Um, I just realized I forgot to pick this up, these matches. Um, I do have a little bit of a guide here. I'm not reading it verbatim, but uh, as I do with all these adventure games, I usually have some hints to keep us going because uh, I found if you don't have a tutorial in adventure games, and you try and make a let's play, you basically spend a lot of time doing a whole lot of nothing. So in the interest of seeing a bit more of this game, um, I have a few cheat sheet notes here. Um, let's go ahead and take this note. Anything else we can take here? Big poster. Be considerate. Keep the volume down after 11. Uh, I don't think there's anything else you can take. Okay, pizza movie night. Pizza and movie night, Monday, July 31st. B-Y-O-S. B-Y-O what? Soap? <sighs> Probably a typo, but what a lame joke. It's almost as bad as one of my jokes. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, oh, wait. Um, apparently, that pink note... Oops. Keep clicking the wrong thing. Oh, I have a thumbtack, too. Good for self-defense. Found. A gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and ask her... Oh, no, wait, wait, don't sit down. Don't talk to her about her boring life. Hi. So Hello, she found my ring. Uh, See hold you later, on. Fiona. Have See you later. And now, use this on her. I saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry, I have to ask, but could you describe? Sure thing. It says Sweet 16. My dad gave it to me. Yes, that's the one. I found it under the sofa when... There we go. Sweet, we got a ring. Thanks. We hustled that old lady. I don't even have a father. Ooh, ah, let's get out of here. I'm trying to run away, but he's in, she's stuck in the middle of dialogue. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Alright. I don't even have a father. Ah, the ring is mine. We just robbed Fiona there. We robbed her blind. I know. What is this? Seriously, am I on Earth even? What is this place? Fine contraption and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? I don't know, but let's mess with it. Mystifying. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. It seems the clamp served a purpose after all. What a surprise. Pro tip, don't just walk up and start messing with construction equipment, I guess. The cables are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. If only we had something to fill the gap. Like a ring! I hope it doesn't melt or anything. Alright, there we go. Pro tip? If electrical wires in your house split, take a ring off your hand and manually tie the wires back together. You'll be fine. Okay, let's, I guess, mess with these witches here. Um, what are we doing here? Okay, so we have a little puzzle here. So this dial turns one of the items red, which means they're not going to rotate. This one rotates everything except the one that is turned red. And what we need to do, I think, is get them all lined up. Oh, this is looking promising. Oh, shoot. Uh, damn it, that's not going to solve anything, is it? Damn. Okay, hold on. And... Man, this is actually really hard. Wait, this... Might be a position that I want to be in. Wait, yes. Oh, we did it! <laughs> I was right near the end, and it took me a long time to figure that out. All right. What did I just activate? Turn the wheel now? It won't budge. The pressure's probably too high. Hmm. So supposedly you're able to take this clamp if you can turn this wheel. It's a rusty old wheel. I'd imagine it turns the water on and off. But... I don't know how to actually get it to turn. Oh, can I use this valve? 
Oh, that did something. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this. The pressure's dropping. The pressure's dropping. All right, we're taking the clamp. Ah, oh, sweet. We traded a gold ring for a clamp. Is that a valuable trade? Somebody's going to have to replace that cable eventually. Oh, we get to take our ring back, too. Screw them. We just stole your clamp, bro. And all I had to use was my sweet 16 ring. Let's get out of here. We're committing a variety of crimes today. We're lying to an old woman. Yeah, this is totally not Earth. Look at this. Those awesome flying ships out there. Airships. So we're in some kind of sci-fi industrialized compound in the future. Committing, as I say, a variety of crimes. A variety of light crimes. Look, there's a punk. We're in the cyberpunk future. He's skipping along merrily. This is not a threatening punk. In fact, he's very unthreatening, and we can't Surprise, interact with him. I'm still here. April Ryan, you have got to get past yourself. I feel like someone sticks. <laughs> if you click on her, she says stuff. Um, all right, so to the subway, to the, what does that say? To the park, the cafe. Ooh, we need to get money from the cafe, right? All right, let's try going to the subway, I guess. Those are the three options we have. East Venice. Are we in Venice? We're in, like, future Venice. Let's to the park, to the subway, anywhere else. No. All right, let's go down to the subway here. And see what our options are. Oh, there's, like, uh, electrical force field grids here. I wonder if we're going to be allowed on. Uh-oh. I have to get scanned. Jumping gates in the Newport subway is a corporate offense liable to get me five years behind bars, if I'm lucky. Okay, so I don't have any money. I don't even have enough money to ride the subway. That's when you know you're you're truly destitute. All right, let's check out the park then, see what we got going on over here. I want to interact with people as little as possible because I feel like the dialogue is not something I'm particularly, uh, you know, itching for. To the bridge, to the bridge... Dude is painting. Guy doesn't even count as a person. This lady doesn't exist. These are... I don't view... Unless somebody has a, a trade or skill like a painter, I don't view them as people. They're just uh, as inanimate as benches to old April Ryan here. Um, Who are these people? Emery. No, I've got too much to do right now. All right, no time for chatting. No time for chit-chat. Burst into the academy and take some classes here. Let's take this rubber glove. Why not? Your used rubber glove is treasure to me, sir. Oh yeah, adventure game items. Why would somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just one big hole in it? Yeah, Terrible go figure. <laughs> I feel like uh, adventure game heroes are really big into recycling. Uh, they're just, they, they don't want to waste not, want not, you know? They don't waste a single thing. This is a student. I wanted to slap him, but there's no hand icon. Don't want to disturb him. Okay, we don't want to disturb him. Okay, let's try going up the stairs here. One thing I do like about these point-and-click adventure games, oh my god, there's a hologram, is you can really just sort of mouse over a lot of the map and try and find interesting things to, uh, Interact with like this is a paintbrush and palette. Go ahead and take it. We're in no rush. Just mosey on over at your own pace there, April. What do we got going on here? All right, we can paint. Let's go kill the guy in the park and take his spot and do do the painting for him. Let's show him how to paint. Or we can just use a canvas. I need a paintbrush and palette. Okay, well, luckily you have one. Paint. Make some art. Make some money. I'm way more amazed at this hologram. In a world with holographical dragon technology, why would anyone buy paintings? <laughs> maybe, maybe I am uh, not an artiste. Maybe I don't get it. But if you literally had the capacity to have holographic dragons in your living room, doesn't that outshine a painting just a bit? I mean, I guess you still need an artist to make the holographic dragons, uh, but just straight up painting seems a little quaint by comparison. Oh, watch out! She's sneaking up from behind! Who is this woman? 
Your arch nemesis, Kathy. Get out of here, Kathy. Emma? Hi. I didn't expect to see you. Or Emma? Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. Well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. Man, the subtle animosity behind their conversation. You can tell these two women just despise one another. I really hope it's not my mom. I hate my mother, too. Not even close, girlfriend. It's from Cortez. Cortez? Yep. He said to tell you to meet him where children visualize their dreams. That is so annoying. Just tell me where to meet you, dude. I was hoping you would know. Um... Did he talk to you about your nightmares? He's just going around talking to me about nightmares. I'm just trying to find out if he's talking to everyone about nightmares or he's just somehow obsessed with me. Sometimes a banana is just a banana. A banana? Cigar. Cigar? What do you mean cigar? Sometimes oh a cigar. My. Whatever. The point is, you're reading too much into your dreams. I'm sure they're even a talking dragon. Is a talking dragon logical? Especially a talking dragon. Well, a talking dragon can be logical. Was he saying logical things, or was he a talking dragon that had been pulled into so, sort of conspiracy theories and uh, ridiculous rumors? Basically, is he an educated dragon, or is he a misinformed dragon, you know? You had a dream about a dragon. Not just any dragon, though. They're still talking about the fact that she talked about a talking dragon. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I'll drop by after I clean up. See ya. Bye, Emma. Turns out I didn't hate Emma. Although, kind of secretly. Oh, my God. I I looked down for a second. Look at my notes, and I look up, and there's literally... Not only did that dragon sneak up on her, it snuck up on me, too. That was actually kind of creepy. All right, we are being haunted by our dreams in the real world here. That is, uh... Let's just run out of the building screaming. Hey, that student isn't there anymore. <gasps> did he even exist? Did I just dream he was there? Am I going insane? Let's get out of here, guys. We've done our painting for the day. Who's nice this? Nothing to say to that, eh? That was a pretty good zinger. What we got going on over here? It's the official VAVA notice board. Only registered students are allowed to put notices up here. Okay. More people are hanging out in the park now? I guess it's later in the day. The uh, head over to the bridges. Going for a light jog here? Don't mind me. I'm going for a light jog in street clothes. Nothing weird about this at all. We got places to go. It's funny how in video games, when your character walks everywhere... Oh, this guy's getting arrested. When your character walks everywhere, it feels like they're going so slow. But in real life, when you're walking between places, it doesn't feel like you're moving that slow. I have a theory that video game characters walk way slower than people do in real life. Like, look at how slow she's walking. She is sauntering. This is like a slow pace. In real like, life, if you were here and you wanted to walk into that cafe, you'd go at this pace. Like, you would walk, but she's jogging. So I have a theory that video games artificially slow down the walking of their characters to unreasonably slow levels. Because it really does feel like, uh, really does feel like game characters move extra slow sometimes. I don't know if it's just me. Um, she's justifying taking free candy. So that just happened. Let's see what, what's going on with this guy here. Yo, Charlie! Hey, Charlie! What up, dog? April, nice to see you, girl. You know, I came to wake you this morning, but you'd already left. Early bird catches the worm. No, early bird finishes the damn painting on time. Oh, snap, Charlie. <laughs> oh, that that's the end of their interaction. Oh, no, she has more options. So the dialogue is getting cut off at the bottom of the screen there. Um, I don't know what that is about. I mean, this, I'm playing... This is an official Steam version that I downloaded, so I don't know why uh, I'm missing dialogue. But uh, anyway, uh, have you seen Cortez? As a matter of fact, I have. And he was asking for you. Oh, well. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find him on my own, Charlie. Um, all right. 
Uh... Mind if I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Why would I mind, girl? Wait, I thought we could get out of dialogue now. What's your take on Cortez? Why do you want to talk about Cortez? I don't know him that well. He's been around for as long as I can remember. But I really never talked to the man. Do you think he's as crazy as some people say? No, he's not crazy. Just a little eccentric. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a lot more to Cortez than what he wants us to believe. All right, good to know. Um, how how do I get out of this dialogue? Ah, uh, there we go. Thanks, Thanks Charlie. <laughs> I had to use the keyboard to actually find the exit here. Uh, I have to get going, Charlie. There we go. Take care, so it turns out to be a bit of a problem that I can't see the bottom dialogue. That is weird. Have you guys ever downloaded a game from like Steam or GOG and gone to play it? And like there's something wrong with the resolution? Like certainly if, you know, this was an Abandonware game, you know, that I downloaded or something like that. Uh, then I would understand, you know, if I was running it in DOSBox myself. Yeah, if there's like a resolution problem, it's just, you know, my own issue there. But not an officially released game. Um, I did not want to exit, actually. How do, I go, how do I go further into the cafe here? What the heck? Mystery door. Okay, hold on. That intrigues me. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass through that door. Isn't that peculiar? And if I was Nancy Drew, I might actually care. Oh, snap! April, what's with all the sass? Yeah, are any of these people interesting? A backpacker... Lovebirds. Oh, that girl's sitting on that guy's lap. Hey, hold on. We weren't done with the cafe. Okay, this is crazy. So you can exit to the cafe over here, but like Charlie's kind of in the way. I feel like this game does not make it clear where there are exits in the screen. That that was actually really weird. Um, hey, it's Emma. Is this Cortez? Marcus. Is this Cortez? Stanley. This is a jukebox, that's not a human. And that's bread. Okay, so I think that Stanley is the owner. So I'm gonna try and give him my timesheet here. There we go, all right, timesheet. Stan the man, dude, give me some cash. Oh, he knows exactly what I want. Don't say that word too loud, sweetheart. You're killing me. Man, I work for like scumbag Joe. What is this? Huh? So? At least it doesn't look like Thanks? Oh, you ain't getting it now. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, I need my money now, Stanley. You need money now? That ain't gonna happen. Next week, I tell you. I quit. Quitting? You can't quit. You work for me. Nobody quits this job. Nobody quits a waitressing job in my restaurant. And I'm quitting. I quit. Damn, woman. You know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. You're revealing too much, Stanley. Much the art of negotiation is never admit you need somebody. Give you your damn money. $375, Stanley. What, he wanted to give me 50 bucks? He owed me 375 That cheap bastard. Give me the cash, dude. Get out of here. Um. Thank you, Stanley. Fine, sure. Whatever. And screw this guy. Just, I mean it. You free tonight? Wanna pull a shift? Sandra, she out sick and I need a replacement prompt. You literally just tried to not pay me. And now you want me to take a shift? Should I do it? All right, I'll do it. I need the money. Money is money. Hon, I'll see you here. All right, so we have a job tonight. Um. Oh, interesting. This, so this was glowing. I was like, what is this? It is our options menu. No, I guess we should be saving our game. Oh, that was fast. That's cool. Um, I guess it added something to our conversation log. So if you want to go back and read previous conversations, you can do so. That... That conversation with Stanley. One for the ages. She's just writing it down in her book the whole time. Now, what are these posters? The Cotton Queen. Tom's Follies. Roma Gallery presents Growing Pains. Exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. Could 
this be what Cortez was talking about? Where kids visualize their dreams? I think this may be it. Where's the Roma Gallery located? Ah, we're finding secrets. What the heck? There's just tickets? I never say no to a complimentary ticket. Huh. I've never seen just free tickets stapled to a poster, but we're taking it. Fluffy two egg omelette, grilled cheese and bacon sandwiches. Mm, actually, that sounds really good right now. I wish I had that. Um, all right, well, we've taken a free ticket to a charity's children's event. Why not? Go ahead and take some free bread. We've taken candy, bread, tickets. I guess we should acknowledge our friend here. Yo, Emma, sup, girl? Can I click on her? What is happening? Emma! Emma, it's me! Emma! 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 <laughs> Emma! What? Why can't I click on her? Oh, wait. It just it just happened. There we go. That is so weird. Sometimes I'm clicking on people and she's like running into the background. What is that? Emma has not looked at me and I'm like sitting down beside her. I'm gonna creep her out. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roin Dale release Sidetracked? the hell is Roin Dale? Right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots. Yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. I have no idea what that conversation was about. I was okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's nice to see ya. I gotta run. I was start, gonna start to get the impression that we don't like her, which is completely accurate, but... Anyway, I think we've done enough, enough damage around this uh, joint for the day. Bail on this cafe. That cafe looked pretty happening. It was more like a bar to me. Like a pub. Um, as opposed to like a cafe cafe. You know, let's see what's going on with these guys over here. Skaters. Oh my god, get the Leda woman. Run! <laughs> Run as fast as you can. Oh, he's holding a gun to his face. Holy jeez. And yeah, they don't just arrest people in this dystopian earth. Guy doesn't count as a person. He is not. I can't even look at him. Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited? All right, so. Skateboarding has become an even worse crime in the future than it already is. I feel like skateboarders are always getting into trouble. Like, there's just nowhere where skateboarders are, like, allowed to. Well, I guess skate parks. But I feel like whenever there's a skate park, like communities don't like the skate parks and they complain about them. So it's like I feel like skaters have such a bum rap. It's like they just can't do what they love. Imagine loving something and no one in the world wanted you to do it and everyone complained when you did it. That would be the worst. Anyway, let's uh, check on our little alley, our flooded alley here. What the? There's a rubber duck? You know what ducks like? is bread even if they're rubber i say <laughs> give them bread uh oh they're actually attracting a seagull or something interesting uh who would who would think to do this if you were just playing this adventure game for the first time you'd know hints who would think you know what i have to do oh no the duck gone what was that clank? All right, let's pull on this chain. Oh, yeah, what do we got? We got a weird rope. A soggy rope added to your inventory. She just put that right in her pocket. Okay, so she's showing up to work later with a demonic monkey, her diary, a picture of her and her friends, matches, an old garbage glove, candy, a ring, a clamp, a thumbtack, tickets, and a soggy rope. All of that has to be in her pockets somewhere. So she's going to be waiting tables tonight with all of that hanging out of her pockets. She's going to look insane. But I dig it. All right. So we came home literally only for that. Now we actually have to go back to the cafe. Hey, look, there's the duck. Come back. Come back, duck. Come back. You gotta run faster than that if you want to catch a duck in this world, sweethearts. Man, that duck is long gone. Also, that water is heavily polluted. It's not the kind of water you want to have anything to do with. I wouldn't trust that duck. Uh, although, there it is. Might as well take it. Not above taking trash, duck. 
rubber trash ducks out of the, the freaking sewer water. Now I guess we need to go to the subway. All of this, by the way, is to just meet this Cortez guy. So Roma, I think, is the place that we want to go to. All right, now that we have money, now that our deadbeat boss has actually paid us, hey, we can actually look at our cash card here. Look, like I'm clicking. There we go. It's so weird. Usable anywhere in the world, and it's totally anonymous. Is it anonymous, or are they tracking everything you buy? The gene scanner. How do you how do you board the subway? This is weird. Oh, there we go. Um, single day. Oh no, he's overriding me. Weekly pass. Oh, scan my eyeball, sir. Yeah, this is totally anonymous. It's a small camera. I already pushed the button. Now, oh, push the button. Hold your money card up the eyeball. And then walk up and be scanned from the the groin upwards. It's a it's a full genital to face scan in order to confirm your identity. And then you can walk through the gate. You are now free to travel on all Metro Line subways for exactly one week. Perfect. That's all I need. All I need is a week. All right, let's get out of here. And boop. That's kind of interesting. Um, all right. And do we just get on? Wait, before we get on, we need to combine a few things here. Just looking at my notes. Okay, so let me know if you ever would have figured this out. Combine... The clothesline with the tongs, then inflate the rubber duck. Uh, I guess that. That is so disgusting. That thing was in poop water. Then look at the rubber duck. Then take away the tape. Uh, then combine. The leaking duck with the pair of tongs and clothesline. Uh, and then to get the key. What key? <laughs> That's the remaining question. Oh, right there. So then we need to use this thing. When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house, but I never caught anything. So we're using a rubber duck rope tongs? How on earth does this make any sense? Why is a duck necessary? I won't be able to pull the key up. Oh my god, we have to reinflate the duck here. Okay, and then combine it with this. And take this. Oh, I guess the duck is holding the thing open. And now we can get the key. I don't know. This is this is such a weird contraption. Everyone around her is just watching. Imagine somebody showed up in the subway and they had an, an inflatable rubber duck, a rope, a clamp, trying to pick something up off their tracks. Utterly bizarre. And this is unlike any key that I have it's ever seen. It's a large seen. iron key. Okay. So there you go. Would you ever have figured that out in all your times of playing this game? It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm going to have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. Okay, so we need the Metro Line subway. Which one is that? I hope it's just the next subway that happens to arrive. That is the one that I'm going to go on. I like my outfit. Good. You should be proud of your fashion choices. Why not? They're your choices. Have some self-esteem. Be, be happy with who you are. Never be ashamed of the choices you make in fashion. Oh, look at that guy. This is like the train from uh, Total Recall. Surprise! I'm still here. Still here. Just trying to let you guys know. I don't think there's literally anything to do on this train. Just kind of wait around. This guy doesn't even register as human. I can't talk to him. Can't even look at him. 
He's so disinteresting. Not only can I not say anything to him, but I don't even want to speak to him. The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape. Like 1984, man. Anything cool down there? I'm just going to do some laps while I wait for this train to get to its destination. You just have to wait this part out, I guess. Anything to do? I can look at this map. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, what? I somehow clicked and ended up not where I wanted to be. Damn it. Okay, so that map actually, I guess, let, lets you fast travel. Okay, let's do this correctly this time. Okay, so we want to go to Watertown. I see. I can just click on Watertown. Oh, there we go. All right, that's pretty cool. So it just lets you skip it. <laughs> We're in hippie land, baby. Look at these guys. It's funny because they have like Discman and like Bongo. So it's like in some ways it doesn't feel like different from contemporary, you know, our contemporary universe. But it's also like clearly like some kind of sci-fi dystopian type universe. Uh, anyway, there's the gallery. So let's just let ourselves in and talk to who are we looking for? Cortez? Are you Cortez? Sir, I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yeah, that guy is sleeping on the job, literally. Um, did I give him my tickets? I think I did. I think it's automatic. This is... Not a person. <laughs> also doesn't count. He's just background dressing to my life, I guess. Oh, the, here's Cortez. Oh, this is the guy I talked to at the beginning who creeped me out. Alright, dude. Interpret my dreams. About time you showed up. About time? I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. Look. What do you want me to look at, dude? Why? Just look at it. Um, okay. Uh, sure. What am I looking for? What do you see? The painting. Um... How about... I see art. I was able to read that even though it was mostly off the screen. Bit of a guess, but... Beyond art. Uh... Truth? Truth? Truth. Exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. How can okay. a painting have a soul? Seriously. Because it has an identity. It has a heart. It mm -hmm. has made a lasting impression on you. It's just a painting by some kid. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art. And the scribbled drawings of a five year old. I think this guy's on shrooms, so dudes. Real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Art is still the work of artists. And for something to be real, to be truthful. Okay, this guy's going on some crazy art rant. Dude, I need help with the talking dragon who's haunting me from my dreams. Because I didn't come here for a lecture on art. And even I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to, to. Yeah, you tell him. You saw something this afternoon. Uh, I did. Yeah. Good. And my point okay. about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence. Stop with the riddles and tell me the truth. What's going on here, dude? And in the images, they could. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusion. I feel like if this guy was just straight up with me and was like, yo, you can hop through dimensions, your dreams are just parallel dimensions. It would clear up a lot of confusion. Why all the mysteries? Why are, why are like wise. You know, ancient individuals and movies and games always talking in such riddles, man. Just be straight with me. Explain it to me like a Ghostbuster would. You know, your uh, your DNA sequence, uh, you know, is is lining up with uh, the rhythmic vibrations of ley lines, allowing you to uh, travel between worlds in your dream in your dreams. You know, like be very sciency about it. That's what I want. I want, like, Lieutenant Commander Data to, like, beam down and give me the science-based explanation of what's going on. Um, anyway, I think he wants me to find him tomorrow. You dick! You wasted my day! Saunter away. 
in this Arctic Zoo. Yeah, you get out of here before I kick your butt. Anyway, I'm sure I'm probably late for my shift at the cafe, so let's go do that. Um, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed she hasn't been spending the whole day in her underwear. I, the first thing I did was I tried to dress her, but she refused. It would be real funny if she could go to sh go to work in her underwear. I swear, that's how you get tips, guys. That's how you get tips. Because sex sells. All right. Uh, but I guess we're gonna have to go to work like a normal person in clothing. <sighs> Not racy at all. Uh, let's run through the park here. Run, run. Run. There we go. I swear this game does not detect my double click sometimes. It's the input is is very odd. There we go. Let's just go make some money. Oh my gosh, she's back to walking slow. Go fast. You stop running when I when you're dead. I'll tell you when to stop running. Run over here, run. There you go. And all right, boss. What is this guy wearing? I'm all scrubbed and ready to work, sir. You'll be on the floor tonight, honey. Start taking order. All right. Will do, sir. Ah, oh, we even get like a little cutscene here showing her working her shift. Pockets littered with trash. Seem to be the same customers that were here in the mid-afternoon, which is not a good sign. Doesn't seem to be any new customers for the evening. This place is going out of business in a week. Um, oh, what's happening here? Oh my god! Something jumped out of the radio! What the hell is that? A little dancing, singing beast creature! Oh, it's nightmarish! Can everyone see it or just me? She's freaking out, man. What the hell is that? <laughs> he realizes he's in another dimension. Uh, okay, the plot thickens, I guess. I've got to find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's Wait, going on. Wait, what happened to that little beast? What happened to that little creature? He's just, just, everyone was like, oh, a weird little, uh, uh, bipedal dancing elf creature. Well, that's weird. And the night just ended, eh? All right, let's, let's follow this a little bit further along. Um, I want to at least shift once to Arcadia and at least see this crazy parallel dimension. So let's go find Cortez and get him to stop playing games and tell us what's actually going on here. So Fiona, have you seen Cortez? Good morning. Hi, Fiona. Did you ever question your own sanity, April? All the time. Um, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Then explain to me, how do you deal with it? I'm crazy. Why would you ask me? Um, let's see. How about this? You have to give me more to go. I don't know how I can put it into words. What did you see? Last night, right here in this room. You know, the ones that produce eight times the oxygen of the original. I've heard about, but I'm digressing. Anyway, about halfway through the movie, like I said, I'm probably going completely bonkers. This room became a... a it was more like a vision. Okay, so she's also traveling between dimensions. Also interesting how they have artificial forests that uh, create more oxygen than real forests. Um, alright. Uh, tell me about Cortez! Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Have you seen Cortez? I don't think he's around. Damn it! You wasted my time, woman! Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Sorry, he could be anywhere. Who'd know? Yeah. Perhaps Zack. Great, Zack. My very best friend in the Okay, so Zack might know where Cortez is. Alright, see ya. Alright, let's go find that jerk and see if he knows where Cortez is. I think he's upstairs. Alright, Zack, your dream's coming true. April's coming to you. But it's all business. Only here to find out. Oh god, walk slower, please. I never imagined I'd be doing this and. <laughs> He's going to get the wrong impression when she comes a knocking. Well, 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 look who's come crawling back is what Zack's thinking. What do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. Save the stash, dude. Don't give me a reason. Look <laughs> a reason why I shouldn't knock you out. Uh, 
How about, uh, let's lead him on. Yes, I finally realized what I was missing out on. About time, too. So, you, uh, ready to hang out? Just do me one favor first, oh- Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? I hope that's a promise I don't have to keep. Uh, sure. Tonight. And, uh, are you gonna put out? What? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, his pills? That or not. You on? This guy's like date rape condensed into human form. Eh, yeah, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. And that wouldn't make me very happy. Was he gonna beat her if she doesn't show Girl up? Girl and show. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? Just tell me where Cortez is, man. Cortez. Before I get you arrested for, uh, <laughs> some kind of sex crime. I knew there was something going on between you guys. Don't be ridiculous, Zack. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit? You're with me tonight, and by tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. Wow. Where's Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does, he's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector. Alright. Uh, it's close. Hey, she's Thanks for the info, dude. By the way, there is no date. See ya. <laughs> Let's run away from here. Um, that's that guy is like super creepy. Jeez, like like that is that is like that is not just a guy who is not good with women. That is a guy who is actively bad with women. Yikes! All right, headed to the subway. To the old, old-fashioned movie theater where Cortez is hiding out. Why can't this Cortez guy ever just come see me? Why am I always chasing him down? You know this game reminds me of a bit, actually, though, is Blade Runner. The Blade Runner adventure game by uh, Westwood Studios. I mean, maybe because Blade Runner had 3D characters as well and was sort of a science fiction-y plot. But this kind of looks like almost the same game engine. Uh, I know it's not quite the same, because I think Blade Runner actually had 3D environments, too. Uh, but somewhat similar. Not dissimilar, at least. Alright, the Metro Circle, let's go. Oh, look at this, we're in a real sci-fi... ...sextasy? What?! <laughs> Liquid Dreams! Uh, wow. You know, when we started, and I was making jokes about her being in her underwear, I was like, Jay, you're being raunchy. You're being too adult, and you're being silly, and you're being raunchy. Meanwhile, I guess I didn't realize, but, uh... You know, between sex pervert Steve, who lives across the hall from me, and the sextasy bar... Sextasy. Sexual fantasy. Just the thing I need to feel really depressed about my love life. Yeah, just, uh, wow. Alright. Okay, so I don't know which way to go. Let's actually try East Gateway. So there's elevators, and then there's East Gateway. So, wow. This is just like Slum Alley. Now I'm really getting like a Blade Runner feel. Where am I, by the way? Oh, I'm way in the background. <laughs> Look, there's literally a bum. This is the reason they invented the phrase, hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing Amethyst. So I guess the people in my neighborhood who live around raw sewage water are living in the nice part of town. Because this is rough. The subway, the club. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. Okay, let's continue going down the street. I have no idea where we're going. Oh, here's a theater. I swear that was just guessing. Uh, but this isn't. First things first, we're gonna move this dirty trash can. Like how the theater owner is some old guy in like uh you know like a white tank top there. Now what is Play. this? Don't you keep playing with Okay. Ooze. Alright, we got some ooze here. Uh we're gonna wanna capture the ooze with the candy, apparently. Gonna dip that candy lightly in ooze. Wiggling her hands around in the air. Who is this guy? This creepy guy who's watching me. So now I have poisoned ooze candy. Assorted candy. Colorful. No doubt also extremely toxic. Alright, so I can murder somebody with candy now if I want. Let's see if this guy wants candy. Hello, conspicuous Hi man. There. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? I'm an orphan, baby. I'm an orphan. Yeah? Well, all the more reason for you not to talk to straight. Hmm. 
How about I give you candy? Are you on the job? On the job? What do you mean, on the job? You know, an assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. This guy is a detective, I guess? Here now, ma'am, before things- Was that a threat? Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. Oh, damn. All right, dude. I will leave. But first, how about, uh... Some delicious hard candy. Can I offer it to him? Where's she going? I'm clicking on him. <laughs> Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit? Don't you get tired of hanging around here? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine? That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Um, how about some candy? So you just had lunch. That's right. What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a... What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. And you had this... Oh, about an hour. And you don't feel... No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced. Genetically oh, enhanced? Good? Well, now you mention it, I have a crave. I didn't have time for my usual cool... Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Is this a threat? A very serious... How about I just give you some candy, man? Hello again. Christ. What was it you wanted? Something sweet and chewable to drown the- Alright, here you go, dude. It's coming for you. Delicious sweet candies. Oh, you like candy? Hey, yeah. He watched that me roll it in poison, too. <laughs> Don't you litter my floor, mister. This guy's more concerned about litter than poisoning a cop. Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. Alright. You litter my floor, mister. So, I don't know what the point of that was, but we just poisoned a cop. On to tampering with public electricity. We're gonna use our heavy-duty key. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. That's city property, ma'am. Hmm. I need that guy to eat the candy and die already. Okay, we gave this guy the poison candy. Box, He's box supposed box. to eat it so that we can mess with the fuse box, turn on the power, and then get into the theater. But he's not doing it! So I literally don't know what to do. Go ahead and check out the, the elevators up here. Maybe there's something cool to take a look at. Maybe we can get the sex to see. Wouldn't that be some run across this whole bridge? It'd be worth the run. Can we go in the elevator door? This guy's gonna let us by, right? He's not gonna shoot us in the face. Hold it! You're not taking this elevator. Oh, man. Just tell me where the elevator to sex to see is, dude. Oh my god, there was another piece of candy here the whole time. Okay, well, let's give that to the detective then. Oh, uh, no wonder he didn't get sick. I didn't give him the, uh, the poison candy. The pro tip when you're trying to poison an officer of the law, make sure to give them the poisoner. Taste! Sickening! I feel kinda... Christ! Oh man, this guy's gonna barf. Oh, get away, get away, get away, run, run! What are you doing? Don't just stand there! Hey, what... What the hell do you think you're doing? All right, he's just ralphing on the street. You guys gonna whack him with the broom? <laughs> Look at him run away! I think it was coming out of both ends, if you know what I mean. All right, finally. Finally, man, I, I was really stumped there for a second. You should have seen him run, lady. <laughs> All right, that guy finds his, uh... That guy's sickness and embarrassment amusing. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the fuse box here. Now we can actually tamper with city property. Now that there's no detective, no pesky detective lingering over our shoulder. So let's go ahead and bust this thing open. There we go. I like how that guy is not phased by what we're doing here. Okay, what do we have that can fix this? Okay, let's, uh... Click all these things. And one of these is busted. So we will combine our glove with the tape. Oh, there we go. Combine the band-aid with the glove. Use the glove. Dude, I don't know what I did. Jam it into the electrical thing, I guess. We put a band-aid on a glove. How does that make any sense? And now there's no power in the cinema at all. Oh, we just totally... Okay, we weren't trying to restore power. Light up. 
We're trying to uh, disable the power, I guess. Now this guy's going to run and try and fix it, and we'll be able to sneak in and find Cortez. What a roundabout way of just talking to this man. If Cortez and I could just make, like, a lunch date or something. Maybe he meets me every morning, we have coffee, and he tells me about the universe-shifting powers I have. That would actually be kind of handy instead of all this... This cat and mouse game he's got going on where I have to solve intricate puzzles, deactivating city blocks of power just to speak to the guy. Okay, now before we enter and uh, follow into the theater, apparently the detective just dropped his hat in the street, so we're going to go and take it. Because F that guy. Nobody tries to enforce the law in my town. All right, I like how we get a little, like, ma uh, magical charm every time we pick up an item. All right, we've successfully poisoned a law enforcement officer, tampered with city property, destruction of private property, I'm sure, sure was in there at some point. And we're heading down to skeevy dark alley. Oh, yeah, nothing bad's gonna happen down here. Um, oh, here's the entrance to the theater. <laughs> Garbage heap. Interesting. Fire alarm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Trash can. No, no, don't go in yet. Don't go in yet. There's no doorknob. It's impossible to open it from this side. Okay, good. Wait, there's a trash can to investigate. Okay, we're gonna open the trash can. Okay. Would you ever have figured out this puzzle? Take two. You put the monkey over here. You put the... Hey! You! Yeah, you! Hands up! What's happening? Spread your legs! And do the monkey! You put the hat... Yes. ...over here? Damn. And then you start a fire in the trash can. Would you ever have figured that out? <laughs> if you were just playing this game for the, for the first time. How do how did people figure out adventure game puzzles back in the day? I truly don't understand. Spread your legs and do the monkey. All right, somebody's coming. All right, now we, we run, I guess. Hey, old Blanky, we got us a far. Now, where is that voice coming from? Show yourself. Oh, he, he's gonna look at the shadow and think it's a cop. There, mister. Just, just don't, don't you fire that gun now, you hear? Put your hands up and do the Freddy, monkey. Freddy, you'll do the monkey for you right now. <laughs> Is he doing the monkey? <laughs> he, he'll do the monkey until you ask him to stop, I reckon. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, you. Wow, that is actually pretty hilarious. All right, don't turn around, dude. Just continue to do the monkey at gunpoint. Uh, how would you ever have figured that out? Most random thing ever. All of this is to talk to an ancient Mexican individual who will give us the secrets about shifting between realities. Get your hands up and do the monkey. You have no idea what I went through to find you. First, sure. Who doesn't? Wait a I don't much like modern movies myself. Yeah, this guy doesn't care what you went through to try and get him. Blah, blah, blah. He's talking about more crap and junk and art. Um, let's just indulge him. What's appealing about these movies? He's smug. I apologize. Uh, cops after him. He's gone now. And I got rid of him. There's not my life's answers. Okay. Give me some answers, dude. Cut to the chase here. This is probably as good a place as any. At least there's no one around to see. Except rats. <laughs> except rats? Stand back, senorita. What for? What are you doing? Why, Alice? I'm sending you through the looking glass. Oh, Alice in Wonderland metaphors now, eh? Is he going to summon a portal like in Doctor Strange? Oh, God, he's opening a, a wall? What is that? What? what is that? That ain't no hologram. It's a mirror to reflect your dreams. I don't see anything. Just... Oh, you 
about to step through. Step through that? Oh no, I- This is the moment of decision. All right, we, we made it here, guys. We made it to the, the time dimensional jumping point. And she's having second thoughts. Girl, you jump in that portal. All right, I'll do it. Vamos. Don't say that, it sounds too- You're about to- but Okay, blah, 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 let me in. I'm running in for it. Oh, God, give me the warning first. Pay a visit to a friend of mine called Westhouse, Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse. Alright, and now we are finally traveling between dimensions. I think we're walking through a creepy cave tunnel. Look at that CG early CG hand. It's pretty funny actually. Go on, April. Cortez is like, yeah, you walk through that tunnel. You walk, girl. But he sealed it up behind me. That's uncool, Cortez. Why am I trusting this guy? Do I have a prior relationship with him? Do I know what he wants? What is happening? Time is like... I, I don't know what's happening. I was gonna say time is like fading in and out. Okay, so Cortez wished me into another dimension through sheer will alone. And I fell out of a pool? All right. Vaya con Dios, child. And may the balance protect Vaya you. Vaya con Dios. All right, now we are in a cave with a bunch of ancient monks, and I guess Cortez is one of them, which would explain why he has the power Cortez. to travel between dimensions. Or is she just calling out for him because she's looking for him? I have a bad feeling about this. But wouldn't she... He explained you're going to another dimension. What was the name Cortez told me to remember? Westhouse? Ryan Westhouse? Yeah, don't forget that name. Also, I have no idea where he is. Hopefully I can find him pretty easily. Is anything going to happen? Oh, I can click. All right. Gotcha. All right, so now we're in the uh, some kind of weird Arcadia temple here. Um, I'm just, I just want to explore real quick. The doors are closed. Okay, well, I guess we have to talk to this guy. All right, priest man. Can you let us into Arcadia? Hello? Are you Brian Westinghouse? That guy sounds like an office worker. <laughs> Not like a mystical dude who can travel between dimensions. Okay, this guy doesn't talk? Or no, he does. Um... I don't understand. Is, is that... Is that a, a known language? I'm just gonna go along with it. I think I nodded. I'm going to nod again. And I'm going to nod again. Oh, okay. It just says the same thing. Okay. I'll just listen to him. Good. Niranton. Okay, blah blah blah. It's literally blah 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 because it's in another language. Um but Thanks. Hi. Wait, apparently you can actually come to understand what he's saying you just listen when he talks what does Altum Maris listen Aorta oh, beginning you oh I feel like a few words are starting to come through allowed the magic to enter your heart and the knowledge of all tongue oh whoa. Ever present but dormant to I that's kind of interesting actually kind of like a fun way of like you translating your character oh, child i do not speak english i speak naven all tongue arcadia wait a second how did i get here what is this oh my manners have abandoned me yet again i'm afraid my preoccupation with ancient texts and the company of my fellow fathers have left me unequipped with the grace of social intercourse <laughs> social intercourse um, blah, 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 can you let me into the world? I think he's gonna do it. I think we're finally, finally, finally gonna get to Arcadia. Such a tease, we made it to Arcadia, but then we can't actually see Arcadia until we finish talking to this guy. All right, are you guys ready? You guys ready for this? We left the sci-fi dystopia of Stark behind for... a beautiful, mystical, ancient land. Of Arcadia. This be it. This be it. We're skipping this cutscene. Oh, there we go. The we made it 
we made it to the the mystical 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 land we can go to the city the only place we can go or or the temple I want to check out a few environments here so we're not gonna get any further in this game um, I feel like you know we've we've sampled what this game has to offer in terms of oh interesting we sampled what this game has to offer in terms of adventures. As you can see, it's it's very um, old school in its adventure status. I mean, there were some really weird puzzles where you had to combine very obscure items. And uh, yeah, I mean, that is just totally reminiscent of old adventure games having to do that. You know, if you like those old style adventure games, I think you are actually going to uh, really enjoy uh the longest journey here it's, it's a very interesting idea sort of combining sort of a blade runner-esque universe with like a medieval fantasy universe and again you know we've really not even scratched the surface on what there is to explore in this this medieval universe but you know this is a rather long video for us so we do have to call it quits at some point i'm just trying to explore as many different environments as i can before uh before i officially give up here did i get stuck how do I go to the big boat? Oh, there we go. Go back to the city. That is so weird. One thing I find weird about this game is that it is definitely not 100% clear where to click on the screen to go to certain places. And I feel like sometimes places that you would think would be obvious to click on the screen to go back the way you came lead to whole new places. So that is a little unusual. Also, I feel like, uh, you know, sometimes I have been clicking on items and stuff and they're not selecting. So I don't know. It's, it's a little finicky when it comes to clicking on things. But check out, I think there was the temple. Or is that? Lit oh, no, that's literally where I came from. Okay, so there's only two spots to check out the marketplace and the ports. Um, anyway, yeah, so oh, beast riders. There's like dueling little kids down here. All sorts of interesting stuff. Anyway, this has been The Longest Journey. What do you guys think about this game? Is it a game that you yourselves played growing up? Is it a game that you, like me, had never heard of before today? And if so, does it look interesting? You know, is it the kind of game you would have liked to play back in the day? Is it the kind of game you're going to look up nowadays? Whatever the case may be, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of my assessment of the game today, um, hopefully you had a bit of fun. Hopefully it was interesting at least to explore this uh, little universe. And if so, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. I'm in my undies. I'm in. 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 What an asshole.